The Minister for Finance scheduled session was postponed to next Wednesday. The minority did not take kindly to yet another request for more time from the Minister. Deputy Minority Chief Whip Ahmed Ibrahim expressed the displeasure of his side. Number three person, personality of this country. You give a directive to a Minister of Finance appear before the House and explain to the good people of Ghana how Parliament is exercising its oversight responsibility. Mr. Speaker, I think any Minister of State should take this directive or this call very seriously. So, Mr. Speaker, I want an explanation from the leader of government business. I am not aware whether a letter has been written to all the 16 people who ask those questions. And if it is so, Mr. Speaker, of the 1772 are very straightforward. Ministers of state should appear before the House and explain matters of national importance. The majority leader of HM and Sabonso attempted to justify the minister's request for a postponement. And indeed, he came to my office around 9 o'clock in the night. We left here after 10.30 in the night. I'm speaker, following from that, I related to you this morning what discussions that have gone on between the, the, um, the Minister of Finance and myself, and what he had also pleaded that we did for him this morning in respect of the questions that have been filed. The speaker, it was whilst we were in the office that he got to hear that responses to those questions had been dumped in his house. He was not even aware that they had finished with the, with the uh, responses. And then he said to me that he needed to go and read and then um, maybe do some other consultations after he had read, just so that it would be in sync with the responses that others, other people had given. The speaker, we don't expect the finance minister to see the responses first time, and indeed what was even on towards was that even before he could see the responses, apparently they had been brought to, the, to parliament before he himself had seen it. And so he pleaded that he should see them first, read them, appreciate what the technical people had brought, and if there are any other matters to be added on, he will do so before he comes to this house, so that he will be able to give a comprehensive response. The speaker subsequently issued directives. Until he goes through the accountability process, we will not take that motion. With respect to the questions, well, today he has another request before us. That will also be affected. Until he comes to respond to the questions and to submit the statement, giving explanation as to how that money has been applied, we will not entertain any business from that ministry. Mark my words. Let me say that this House can decide that we will not allow a minister to present or lay business before the House, depending on the conduct of the minister. The Deputy Minister for Finance, Dr. John Kuma, later reviewed the tax exemptions bill. The minority leader, Harun Idrisu, expressed reservations about the withdrawal of such a critical bill. We are withdrawing exemptions bill. The bill which was brought in 2017 couldn't be pursued. You brought it, you are withdrawing again exemptions, and you are committed to dealing with tax leakages through exemptions, which is over 2 billion US dollars. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaker, they brought the bill here. Uh, have you been reading the President's State of the Nation address? If you read it, 2017. Exemption. <laughs> Exemptions. So show commitment to it. Thank you.
having a tax exemption regime that is streamlined has been on the agenda of government since 2017, but it's yet to see the light of day. Today, the Minister for Finance, his deputy, John Kuma, withdrew the tax exemption bill that is currently before Parliament. Withdrew it uh, for reasons uh, that we are yet to be told, and we're learning that it will be relayed next week. We wait to see what shape and form this new tax exemption regime that will be laid before Parliament next week takes. Reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Duke Mensofoku.